This is Auto Shanghai 2025. Well, this is the first time I've been to the Shanghai Auto Show on a media day. It's a little bit less crowded. When I say a little bit, I mean a little bit. It's still very crowded and as you can hear, very noisy. Really looking forward to it. They got a lot of new stuff. So uh, follow me, let's go take a look. 1,548 horsepower. This is and there's, there's three motors. <laughs> yeah, three, three motors. motors. Uh, how many cameras on the car? So uh, so three. 33 cameras on this car. Oh, that's cute. In the interiors of these cars have just gotten so much better. Shanghai Auto Show actually started 40 years ago. This is the 21st auto show held in the city, and it is absolutely massive now. 360,000 square meters of exhibition space, over 100 debuts at this year's show. So what will you see if you come to the auto show here in Shanghai in 2025? Lots of EVs. And a lot of the EV brands actually have sub-brands now. I was just over at the Neo spot to show me the Firefly. Uh, BMW is obviously here. All of their EVs are here as well. And it's amazing to see how technology, it's not just in the actual drive anymore. It's not just about motors and batteries. It's about software. It's about intelligence. It's about putting things like deep seek and what into the cars. At least the Chinese brands are definitely doing that. Xiaomi has got some beautiful cars on display right now. Thing is insane. It's like 350 kilometers an hour. It's, it's absolutely nuts. That company has plans to actually go global in 2027. So yeah, all in all, very impressed with what I'm seeing here today. Uh, Chinese EVs have definitely come a long way. I've seen some really, really, really intense supercars. Right now, the things I'm looking at are a little more tame. They're still very, very luxurious and very swanky, but some of the supercars I saw here were absolutely crazy.